Hey guys, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Alrighty, so today we have an extremely special video for you. Now, I am hoping I am the first guy in America to have this tool. I give a huge shout out and thank you to my uh, buddy in the UK. He's also in Ryobi Rebels. Uh, his name's Obi. Uh, I think that's how you say it. He, uh, him and I have been exchanging uh, American tools for... UK tools for a little bit. I owe uh, him big time. I have to send him uh, in return for this. I have to send him uh, two six amp hour HP batteries uh, because they don't make it in his country and he would like some. And they don't make this in my country, so I wanted it. So he sends it to me. I owe him big time. Thank you so much, Obi, for sending me this. Uh, and so yeah, this is gonna be a good video because this is a very special tool. This has just been released to the UK as well. This is brand new in the UK. And so they just uh, released it, so he immediately sent it to me and I'm excited about this. What we have here, it's Ryobi. What we have here, is the Ryobi One Plus Hacksaw. Like I said, they do not make this in America and they just released it in the UK. So I'm excited about this. I can't wait to unbox it, test it out and see what it can do. And of course we are gonna use this in versus videos in the future against other hacksaws. There we go. I'm so I'm so excited about this. I want to see it. I want to hold it. And there you go. Of course, it comes with instructions and warranty. I'm actually going to look at the catalog because I now have a UK catalog that I want to look at. And he even sent me the receipt. Obi, I thank you so much for sending me this. This thing is awesome. It does come with a blade. It does come with a blade. Let's take that out. There you go. Look at that. It's light too. It's it's not too heavy. This is model number uh, RY18PSA, I believe. It is variable trigger. It goes to 16 to 2600 strokes per minute. And it does not say anything about the stroke length. And this was made uh, on March of 2020. So this just came out. It just came out. I like that. Let's put a battery in. Let's see how and how well it, it, it goes. And what this is, this is a, uh, this is just uh, like a stop to where you could uh, put this on the, when you're cutting cutting uh, when you're pruning. You put this on the twig, and then it'll just stop once it uh, finally cuts the the branch. Now there's two there's two buttons right here that I'm wondering what it's for. I believe it is easy easy installment. Like everything else. Yep, just like that, it is installed. All right, so let's put this on a uh, two by four, see what this can do. And remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. When it comes to using a foreign tool with American batteries, I do not know on how well this is gonna perform with this combination. I have a four amp hour HP battery on there, but the the I believe that different countries' batteries are different than what other countries get. So this might not perform to its potential with an American battery because it's a UK tool 
with an American battery. So I do not know what this is going to be like when it comes to performance. This might need a U, uh, UK battery to work to this full uh, the full potential. Well, we're going to find out and see what uh, uh, a UK tool does with an American battery. Like I said, they do not make this in in America. And so, yes. All right, well, let's see what this thing can do. All right, so... Ready, go. Time. Alrighty, so we're gonna do another one. You know what, I'm gonna put a different battery in there. Let's see if I use a regular, what's the life on this? 1.5, let's see what it does with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Unusual but the base does not line up with American batteries like like it like uh American batteries uh do. So like this ba these batteries might not be good for the tool. So, as you can see in every other every other tool, it lines up perfectly. No edge uh on either side, but with this, there is an edge. There's a, uh, so, so that the, these batteries, I'm hoping that these batteries don't fry out the tool. All right, so we're going to use a 1.5. This is not full. It has three bars. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, not, not, uh, you need a. 1.5 just isn't just isn't powerful enough. You know what? Let's go get my 21700 salt battery. All right, so we got the 3 amp hour compact HP battery. Let's see what this can do. All right, so we're just going to finish this off really quick. much better the 1.5 just isn't strong enough all right so ready go not bad wow what a difference adding that battery oh it seems like there's a sensor it seems like there's a sensor on it all right well listen to this and watch it seems like if there's no load, it's slow. But as soon as it touches the wood, it like it gets uh, hyped up. That's interesting. All right, let's watch this. It's slow, but then it's gonna kick into gear. That is interesting technology. Wow. All right, I'm going to post this to Ryobi Rebels. Thank God these Milwaukee gloves are, uh, are uh, able to use it on your phone. I got to upload this. So, so this is, it's seriously interesting because this is slow. That's slow. But as soon as it touches the wood, it just goes all out. Right, let's do that again. All right, so ready, go. And it's going through a couple of knots too. What's the battery at? The battery's at three bars. So that is seriously, is seriously awesome. It doesn't smell burning. It smells like a regular motor. Let's do one more cut. You know what? Let's do it lengthwise. All right, so ready, go. Oh, that stopped. Time. Let's check the uh, the motor temp. 
64 degrees dir directly on the motor. 69. It's uh, it's not overheating at all. Let's cut some. Uh, let's cut a piece of metal. Let's see what it can do. I have a new blade for metal. If I don't, we'll pass the metal until I get a new blade. I might have a new blade though. I have a brand new Milwaukee uh, bi-metal blade. Let's see what this can do. I hope that this isn't just uh, wood with nails. It might not even be long enough for this, but we will see. All right, so there we go. Let's see what this can do against metal. All right, so ready, go. See the temperature of this really quick. 75, 79 degrees. This got up to 79 degrees. There we go, locked in place. All right, let's see what this can do. No, I don't. Ooh, wait, I do. That's right. Actually, I do have something in there. I have screws in there. Because uh, that, that was from uh, the Hilti versus Makita screws uh, bits. All right, so we're going to start again. No screws on this side. All right, so ready? Go. Quick temperature reading, 78, 100 degrees. This got up to 100 degrees. What I'm doing with this right now, this is not designed for. Ryobi specifically designed this to prune, uh, prune trees, uh, thin twigs. This is not by any means meant for 2x4s or anything like that. This is specifically designed... To prune trees so uh, small twigs and stuff like that but yeah this just came out in the UK which is awesome I thank you so much Obi for sending me this this thing is seriously seriously awesome it's able to cut a uh, 4x4 you know it didn't smoke didn't overheat you know it got up to 100 degrees but that's not the first time I got a tool up uh, up and over 100 degrees Milwaukee goes up uh, to 100 degrees same thing with DeWalt Hilti got, got up to 100 degrees, and so yes, this thing is seriously awesome. I use a 3 amp hour uh, compact uh, HP battery with 21700 cells. This thing did a phenomenal job. I, I was hoping it would be able to do this, and it did. Once again, Obi, I thank you so much for sending me this. Uh, your package will be coming short uh, shortly, so thank you guys. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.